Hello there, I'm Too Far Wilderness. Welcome to my channel and welcome to a review of a Korean transforming robot toy that I've just uh, managed to get. Uh, actually, I, this is the first of two reviews that I'll be doing this month because I've actually got two Korean toys this month because I wanted to pick up the two remaining members of the Pentastorm X Combiner team from Hello Carbot Season 9. And yeah, so the next member has now arrived and it is Hello Carbot's Sky SWAT X. Now, going back to the original Hello Carbot season, season one, back in the day, we was introduced to this character. Now, I've got her in her alt mode because you know she is the token fembot from season one, and her name is Sky. And her alt mode was this: it's a high and die Vela Star. It's that really strange, weird, um, you know, sort of coupe car that they did. That's you know, it's got one door on one side and two doors on the other. Because if you look, you know, it's got two doors on that side and just one door on that side. <coughs> Drop the nightstick. So it stores in one of the doors. Just put that back in there. Right, so yeah, we got that. Transforms into a cool robot, which I'll show you a bit later. But in that show, she got a recolor. She changed colors into this. Now this is the the Pentastorm version that turns into the uh, the arm for the original Pentastorm. But this gives you an idea of what her alt mode looked like when she changed colours into the SWAT version or the SWAT car. So as you can see, it's the same car, just painted black with some you know, some bull bars on the front and the police sirens on the top and lots of SWAT logos plastered all over everything. Now this was her sort of alternate form in season one. And uh, there was one episode in particular where she transformed into a SWAT car mode and and help capture some bad guys and she has a she had like a glue gun that she'd shoot people with to you know stick them and you know, to, to goo them up and uh, prevent them from escaping but um, um and when they get a, a re cut well, when they change colors into their like emergency vehicle mode they get a different head sculpt and because of that i didn't get the original transforming version of this this is just the like the, the limb bot version that goes with the combiner but they do do this car in these colours, and I am um, I'm tempted to get it at some point, but um, that's that's on my back burner. But uh, I just wanted to put her original version in here in some way, shape, or form in its you know, SWAT car form. So now we move forwards to the present day or last year, uh, 2020, and Choir Rock decide to rehash the Pentastorm team and give them a reboot and a refresh and give them all new alt modes and robot modes and reintroduce them to the show for season nine. And we got Pentastorm X. Now you've got Storm, you've got Ace, you've got Dandy, you've got Fron, and you've got Sky. So let me show you Sky's new form for season nine of Hello Carbots. TV show. Are you ready for this? Look at this monstrosity. I mean, yeah, it's gone from a lovely swish sort of like, you know, really cool looking, like a, a mean black looking hatchback to this ugly carbuncle on wheels. I just. I mean, look at this thing. Look how ugly, misproportioned a vehicle it is. It's 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 like I don't know what it's supposed to be. It's like a repurposed military vehicle. You know, it's it just looks so bizarre, so strange, so weird, and, and definitely not what you'd give to <coughs> a fembot transformer. You know, it's it's like I feel real sorry for Sky when she went from the likes of this to this and <laughs> it's it, it i think it's hideous and to be honest i never would have bought this figure 
purely on aesthetic grounds um, if it wasn't for the fact that I needed it to create, you know, to complete the combiner. Anyway, what does she come with? Well, let's have a quick look at the box. Here's the box. Sky SWAT X. Picture of her in a robot mode, in a vehicle mode. There's Chatan. More pictures of her on the side. Pictures on the back of all the figures and Pentastorm X. You got a picture on the top showing the uh, the activator watch because you do get a little activator chip that you can stick in the watch and twist the dial and it makes lights and sounds and does voice clips from the show. Um, now this 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 is the the new style packaging from um, Quirock. It's all cardboard. There's no plastic window in, in it, and when you go inside, it's got the uh, it's got the egg carton. Sort of runner inside. You have to mistransform the figure to get in into these egg cartons. It's the same for all of them. They don't just stick them in in you know base robot mode or base vehicle mode. You know they're they're like spread eagle to fit amongst the uh, you know the bits of the the, uh, the cardboard. And uh, you get some instructions. They're black and white, but you know. It shows you how to combine it with uh, Pentastorm and how to transform it into you know, the different modes. Fairly straightforward. And uh, she comes with a gun, a little gun. It's a bit hollow on one side, but you know it's got a gun. And there is a place where it can go on the vehicle mode, like so. So it can go on the side of the vehicle mode. Now there are some other accessories that come with this. And they're plugged into the back of a vehicle mode. They're these things. Now, you can angle them up like, I don't know, rocket launchers or tear gas launchers. Because she is a SWAT truck or special weapons assault team vehicle. Um, yeah, so it's got these things you can plug in the back. Now, these do come out. And these are parts forming pieces for Pentastorm. Um, apart from... Sticking in the back of the vehicle mode, they have no other function really. Um, there's nowhere they can really go on the robot mode apart from in the slots on the back of the legs. So we'll just stick them back there for now. And just... Uh, now I've got them the wrong way around. That's it. And then just leave them in there because they, they won't get in the way. Um, so this vehicle, it's, it's got... Large wheels, nice chrome rims though, I quite like that. Um, it's got some a lot of moulded detail on it. You could probably see it there look, on the sides. Lots of you know, moulded relief on the top as well. I mean, it's got the, um, the police lights. It's got some more police lights on the front. It's got uh, painted lights on the front. It's got some painted lights on the back. It's got all this, these silver bits on the side. It's got these armoured sort of panels that are picked out in silver on there it's got you know, kind of like a windscreen and sort of little little lights on top armoured doors you know it's 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 a, it's a big heavy vehicle um not much more you can say about it it's 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 like a brick on wheels you know it's it's probably the the most business-like vehicle you're ever likely to see but then again it's supposed to be a SWAT truck isn't it I suppose so I suppose SWAT trucks aren't supposed to be pretty, are they? They're supposed to be very ugly, business-like. You know, it's it's a bunch of like armed-up police going to do a job to take down some terrorists or some you know drug lords or, you know, it's just just going out to 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 give the beat down onto somebody. Um, um, yeah. So, can you tell I don't care much for the way this thing looks? <laughs> I really don't care for the aesthetic on the alt mode at all. And they've actually, um, Quirock or, or Sonocon have actually done like brick versions, you know, like like Creon or, or, or like KO sort of Lego versions of these figures, the, the Pentastorm X figures. And apart, I think they transform as well. And the version they've done for Sky looks a lot more like a regular vehicle rather than this thing. So the the actual brick version actually looks better than the uh, <laughs> than the proper toy. That says something about it. Um, right. So I'm lost for words. Really, <laughs> I can't really say much more about this. Um, I can't really sing its praises so much because 
I really do not like the way this thing looks. So, transformation. Let's turn it into a robot, shall we? Uh, now, transformation is fairly simple. It's it's a Korean toy. They're, they're not difficult. Uh, they're fairly intuitive. So, first of all, you've got these, these big old side panels. So, just pull that out to the side to start off. Then you've got the, the front pieces. Grab it there and pull them out. And then you've got the uh, the elbow joints that sort of hinge down. You can then fold the arms out, and then you can fold these panels, and they will pit, they will peg into the shoulders like so. Just fold them up, and you come down to the legs, split the legs, fold out the feet, fold them down on a double hinge. And then you can just collapse in the wheels and that's the legs done and then finally you come around the back well actually you, know, you get the chest piece and you bring it forwards and then you fold this panel out from the back and then you just bring the head up and there we go there is sky swat x in robot mode and doesn't really look, look look that much better really does it <laughs> um, now if you just give me a moment I will transform Veloster Sky into original um, robot mode so you can see the differences between the two robot modes just give me a moment right so uh, obviously I've just transformed the original Sky into her robot mode and there we go and one thing I want to bring out here is the size difference between the new figures and the old figures. I mean, look at that. Now, there's quite a size difference. These guys are smaller. This is like a fairly typical size of an original, you know, sort of carbot or towbot figure of the time. And then you look at these new ones, and they're definitely downscaling. I mean, where's my usual size comparison? Mr. Combiner Wars Megatron. Um, yeah. Considerably smaller than uh, you know, Combiner Wars Leader Class, and then you put next to, and there you can see the difference. So, yeah, considerably smaller. Um, but again, aesthetically, her original vehicle, you no know, original robot mode was really cool. It's got like the, it's got these wings on here. You know, it's got the the roof and the the hood. On the back, it's got like the grill chest, the uh, the front wings of the car on the shoulders. You've got the wheels on the front of the legs. Handles the kibble really well, and and, and you end up with a really cool looking robot mode. And I dig the color orange, so and I really like Sky. She's 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 awesome, decently articulated, not fantastically articulated. I mean, obviously she hasn't got bicep swivels, she hasn't got a waist joint, she's got a ball jointed head. You know, thighs, swivels, you know, knees, elbows, a little bit of tilt, well, a little bit of, you know, the feet go backwards and forwards, but that's about it. Not the most articulated thing, but it looks really cool and it's quite big. Then, you get the new one. It's smaller. But, one of its plus points over the small ones is articulation. And these new, sort of, you know, new KTRT figures... They're, they're pretty well articulated. I mean, she's got a ball jointed head that's got a decent range of motion. You've got ratcheted shoulders that go all the way round. And they sort of, they can bend in and out like that. She's got elbows that go kind of over 90 degrees and she's got a bicep swivel so that's something she's got over the original toy another thing she's got over the original toy is she's got a waist joint All right and then you got the hips now you kind of have to take these things off the back so you can get a bit bit more if you, because obviously this this butt panel gets in the way, but you know you can 
swing them forwards and backwards, you know, on a rat ship. It's got a knee. Then the feet have got the rock backwards and forwards, but they've also got a sizable ankle tilt. So she has got the articulation going on. She's got, you know, modern style transformers articulation, you know, ankle tilts, waist joint, bicep swivel. So she's decently articulated. So that's something good about this mold over the original one. Um, like I said, you know, you've got these pieces. They can plug in the back, but that's the only place they can go. There's no other ports you can plug them in anywhere else. It would have been nice if there'd have been like a, a port so you could plug them on the shoulder, but no, they're just parts forming pieces for Pentastorm X. The gun, again, you know, you can plug it on the shoulder for storage purposes, or she can obviously hold it in her hand. You know, like a, a shotgun type thing. That's all right. So, it's decently articulated. It looks pretty mean and menacing. But again, it's supposed to be a fembot. And yeah, okay, Sky, she did come across as a bit of a badass in certain episodes of the show. Um, you know, she was she, she was quite a uh, you know a, a bot of action, so to speak. Um, the aesthetic on this, though, I mean, again, it's not fantastic. You know, it it, it does look you know like you know like a SWAT robot would look like, I suppose. In that aspect, it's very very business like, you know, like like the truck. Um, her head sculpt is kind of interesting. Let's see if we can get a. I mean, she's got that, that monocle design going on. Um, when she transformed into a SWAT car mode, I mean, her head sculpt was kind of like that. But when she transformed into a SWAT car mode, she got a new head sculpt, which was more like this. It was kind of like, it was like a black helmet with, you know, like a like a targeting reticule monocle on her face. So they've kind of they've kept that for this, this, uh, this mold. Now, um, let's, uh, we're getting close to wrapping up this review. Uh, I mean, obviously, you know, I don't like the way this thing looks. I mean, I don't care much for the aesthetic. Definitely not on the vehicle mode. Robot mode isn't really that much better. I mean, it, you could argue it does look better in robot mode than it does in vehicle mode. But um, there are a few little things on this figure that um, I, I could call them QC issues, which I, I think are a little bit... Um, I'm not, not too pleased about them. Anyway... Right, so talking of you got the sh you got the shoulders right. You've got these shoulder joints. They've got a bar that goes through the top of the figure, and you see that they're joined together. I mean, they have individual ratchets, so they can move independent of each other, but they're linked together through this hinge bar that goes through the top of the figure. Where, and that's another thing. This chest piece does not plug in. It just rests there through gravity and friction and as you can see it moves around that's another thing i'm not really very keen about is the fact that that does not plug in properly and then you've got that as well so two little issues with the robot mode that i'm not really keen about um the rest of the joints are all nice and tight um you know it is a it's a thing you know it's got five swivels and ankle tilts and a waist joint and bicep swivels you know it's got all that going on um now obviously she has a third mode she has an arm mode for pentastorm so let's just go into that just to finish things off so you basically take her back to vehicle mode basically So take her back to vehicle mode and then you again you, you fold these out to the side unplug these pieces 
and then you hinge them back there's a, there's a pegging port back here you bring that back and then it it plugs in oh no no it goes the other way there's a there's a port on the back you fold it back on the the um the shoulder joint and then it plugs in back there so you fold it back like concertina it on the shoulder joint and then plug it in back there then those bits just go back there uh, these bits you, you kind of sort of fold them back like that and you can, there's, there's a thumb there that you can pull out for the uh, the robot mode hand and then the combiner joint now the combiner joint is in here so you basically fold this panel out there is a slot there and a notch there in the waist that once you get it lined up it plugs in and then you have these little wings that fold out and the Pentastar well, Storm's arm plugs into there with two ports and then it folds these pieces fold and then that's the arm of the combiner that's it it basically plugs on the outside of the arm and then it, you know it, it works like that I'm not really a huge fan of the way the combiner joint works on this I mean the original figure what you did you took the front of the car and you fold, folded it back and plugged it in and there's the there's the hand and then there's a, a little button on the side you do that and then you open this up and then you plug the the, uh, the 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 combiner arm in, and then it goes like that, and then that's that's the combiner arm. So there's the difference between the two arms. I don't know. It's I mean, obviously, until I actually show you the the completed combiner, I mean, I can't re you can't really picture this any more you know, than, than what it is. Um, I mean, the, this thing is supposed to be, you know, Pentastorm's hand, and it just hinges in and out, and it, there is a, an, a, a slightly articulated thumb, but it's not that great, to be honest. Um, it's a thing, you know, I don't know. So, that's about all I've got to say. Um, obviously, I've got the, uh, I've got all, well, the, the other figures arrived i'll be doing a review on him next week um i decided i'm going to do a, a separate video to show pentastorm x i'm going to do a comparison video with the original pentastorm rather than you know showing it as part of uh, you know uh, you know the last review for the last component when i do that so Um, oh, just got to say my final words on on this thing. Um, like I said, the aesthetic's not great. It doesn't look great. There's a few QC issues on the robot mode, like like that that uh, those uh, loose sort of shoulder joints and the uh, you know the uh, the chest piece not plugging in. Um, you could argue the robot mode looks pretty cool. You know, it looks pretty decent you know it looks really you know black and mean and menacing and yeah i suppose it does look you know as a robot it looks you know sort of evil and nasty but it's not supposed to be evil it's supposed to be she's supposed to be a good guy but you know i, I just think this alt mode even though she had a you know she she had a a decent alt mode in the the original show and then they turned her into this you know it's <laughs> i'm not i mean like i said how were it not for the fact i needed this to complete the combiner i wouldn't have bought it i would not have got it and you know with all the things all the things that the, the negative things i've said about this you know it's very close to you know becoming the worst bot i got this month though i've just got something else that 
Yeah, you could say he's a lot worse. Um, so that's it. That's been my review <laughs> of this figure for for what it is. Um, like I said, I, I just I, I, I was on the fence about getting it. I wasn't going to get it, and then I, you know, I decided I, I wanted to get it to complete the combiner, and I've got it now, and I've done a review of it. So make of it what you will. Uh, this is only my own personal opinion of this figure. Um, your mileage may vary. Um, I know uh, KR Brickbot did a review of this, and he, he I wouldn't say he gushed over it, but he seemed to think that this figure was a lot better. He thought it was the best out of all the limb bots from Pentastorm X, and that's his opinion, and he's quite welcome to it. But I personally, you know, I can't see past the the aesthetic nature of this thing, how ugly it looks. I just, I just can't see past that, you know. To me, it will always be you know, an ugly brick, uh, a, a, a slightly ugly looking robot, you know, and I would not have gone for it otherwise were situation different. So that's been my review of Hello Carbot, Pentastorm, X, you know, Sky Swap. Um, next week, I will be reviewing the final part of the combiner. It's uh, for Police Fron. It's uh, Fron, the police car. And yes, I'm calling him Fron, not Pron. Um, so, yeah, it's him. He's the last uh, the last uh, member. So, with that said, um, I've been Two Far Wilderness, and uh, I'll catch you all next time. Ta-da!